In this interesting question, given are three squares in a line with the side length 5 cm each. The diagonals are drawn as shown in the figure. From the intersecting point of this diagonal and the vertex, a new line segment is drawn with length x cm. Question is, with this limited data, we have to find the value of x. Let's check this interesting solution. So for that, first step will be to prove angle P is 90 degree. For that, we'll draw three more square underneath the original ones. And let's join DB and extend it to point G. Also, let's join GH. Now we'll be comparing two triangles. One is this blue triangle. Another is this orange triangle. Now in this FE of blue triangle, that's 5 cm. GH that's the diagonal that's 5 root 2 centimeter so the ratio fe and gh is 1 upon root 2 the other sides we are comparing is ae and dg ae is 5 plus 5 that is 10 centimeter and dg if you'll see this length is 10 centimeter and this length again is 10 centimeter so dg is hypotenuse which will be 10 root 2 so the ratio will become 10 upon 10 root 2 or 1 by root 2. The third side which we are comparing is AF upon DH. AF, so this is a right angle triangle with 10 centimeter and 5 centimeter. So AF will be 5 root 5 centimeter. And DH, DH again is hypotenuse for triangle with side 5 and 15 centimeter. So dh will be 5 root 10 centimeter. So the ratio will be 5 root 5 upon 5 root 10, which is 1 by root 2. As the ratio of all sides are equal, so these triangles, they are similar to each other. And thus the, what we can say that triangle AEF is similar to triangle DGH. And thus the corresponding angles will be equal. So angle A and angle D will be equal. So this angle D is alpha, thus angle A that will also be alpha. Now here is the magic. If we'll see PB is a line segment which is substanding equal angle alpha and alpha. Thus we can say that B, P, D, A, all these four are concyclic or this becomes a cyclic quadrilateral. Now in cyclic quadrilateral opposite angles are supplementary. So here this angle A this is 90 degrees and thus the opposite angle that's this angle P that will also be 90 degrees. So this is the first part which we are proving. Now let's concentrate on this triangle that is DPB. So here angle P is 90 so we have got this a uh, right angle triangle is there. Before moving ahead let's remove all the constructions which were drawn and let's keep the original figure only. So this is original figure again where now we have already proved this angle P is 90 degree. So in this right angle triangle DB is diagonal so it's 5 root 2. Now we have to find the length of DP and then we can apply Pythagoras to get value of X. So for DP we will consider two triangles one is this blue triangle on top another is at the bottom. Now here this angle is alpha square lines are parallel. And thus alternate interior angle, this angle will also be alpha. Angle P, these are vertically opposite angles, thus they are equal to each other. So we can say that the triangle DPF, this is similar to triangle HPA. As the triangles are similar, thus the ratio of corresponding sides will be equal. So here we can say that DF upon AH. So df upon ah that will be equal to dp upon hp but df upon ah that is nothing but 10 upon 15 so df is 10 centimeter ah is 15 centimeter so we can say dp upon ph is basically 2 by 3 so this ratio of dp and ph is 2 by 3 or we can say dp is 2 fifth of full length dh now full length dh so da is 5 ah that is 15 
so full length dh is nothing but 5 root 10 so now solving it we'll get 5 getting cancelled out so dp length of dp is 2 root 10 centimeter now applying pythagoras theorem so let's put this length of dp here as 2 root 10 centimeter so we'll apply pythagoras here so hypotenuse square is sum of squares of the side solving it we'll get x as root 10 centimeter and that's our answer if you really enjoyed the solution please press the like button and if you are new to the channel do subscribe it i will see you in next video till then tata bye bye